Ocean Acidification The oceans are becoming more acidic, and scientists believe the change is happening faster than at any time in geological history. Climate change is a reality, proving the impact of many human activities on the health of the planet. But ocean acidification is not often talked about. Will it have irreparable consequences for the planet? Stay and find out. Hello, science lovers, and welcome to EQ Science, a channel dedicated to everything science, engineering, and technology. The topic of today's video is ocean acidification, a phenomenon that lowers the pH of water, changes its chemical composition, and seriously affects marine organisms. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. The world's largest ocean, the Pacific, is full of mystery. But it is also under great pressure from climate change, plastic pollution, and overfishing. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean on Earth, covering more than 155 million square kilometers from the west coast of the Americas to the east coast of Asia. It has an average depth of more than 4,000 meters, exceeding 10,000 meters at the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on the planet. To give you an idea of how large the Pacific Ocean is, you can put all the land masses of the world together and the Pacific would still be larger. The name Pacific is a version of pacified. It was so named by the explorer Ferdinand Magellan in 1520, when he sailed through an area of calm waters after rounding Cape Storms at the southern tip of the Americas on the first circumnavigation of the globe. Despite its name, the Pacific is a vast body of water full of activity. Much of the ocean has yet to be explored, but human activities such as industrial fishing, seabed mining, and the burning of fossil fuels are already significantly altering it. This vast body of water is home to some of the most unique life forms on Earth and contains the greatest depths known to man. But what is ocean acidification? First, it is important to be clear about some concepts related to chemistry. In chemistry, pH stands for potential of hydrogen. It is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. A pH value below 7 indicates an acidic solution, while a pH value above 7 indicates an alkaline solution. The surface of the oceans as a whole has a pH between 8 and 8.3. Marine organisms have developed and evolved in an environment with these pH values, so they are adapted to this ecosystem, and any change can threaten their survival. Ocean acidification occurs when seawater absorbs carbon dioxide, or CO2, through a series of chemical reactions. When CO2 dissolves in seawater, it reacts with water molecules to form carbonic acid, or H2CO3, which then dissociates into hydrogen ions, or H+, and bicarbonate ions, or HCO3-. The increase in hydrogen ions reduces the pH of seawater, making it more acidic. Ocean acidification is undoubtedly an enormous challenge for ecosystems. We could say that the main cause of ocean acidification is CO2 released into the atmosphere. This is the extra carbon dioxide that humans have added to the atmosphere by burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and other actions. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the concentration of this gas has greatly increased due to the burning of fossil fuels used in industrial processes, power generation, transportation, and other human activities. Did you know that as the ocean becomes more acidic, marine life experiences additional stress? Specifically, CO2 levels in the atmosphere have increased from 250 to 400 parts per million over the past few centuries. And as a result, the pH of surface ocean water has decreased by 0.1. This may seem insignificant, but it represents a 30% increase in ocean acidity compared to pre-industrial times. If current levels of fuel combustion are maintained, the pH is projected to decrease by a further 0.3 to 0.4 units, rates not seen in at least the last 25 million years and unprecedented in the history of the planet. What are the consequences of ocean acidification? According to Oceana, a marine conservation NGO, 
there will be consequences on both human and marine life, as ocean acidification threatens the integrity of marine ecosystems. On Marine Life A decrease in the amount of carbonate ions in the water, an element necessary for the formation of the skeletons and shells of certain marine animals, would be bad news for most ocean-dwelling creatures, as many of which are sensitive to subtle changes in the acidity of their aquatic habitat. It is especially problematic for corals, crabs, lobsters, clams, oysters, mussels, and other creatures with delicate carbonate shells or skeletons that are weakened by even small changes in the ocean's acid balance, much as acid rain corrodes stone gargoyles and limestone buildings. The situation could affect their development and reproductive capacity, endangering their populations. Corals, which provide shelter for a quarter of marine species, are also very sensitive to acidification. On human life, a widespread decline in fish and crustacean populations due to acidification would severely impact a major source of protein for millions of people worldwide. It would threaten the livelihoods of some 47.5 million fishermen and an industry that employs another 120 million people. So, is there a solution to this ocean acidification process? Incredible efforts are being made by various organizations, but it will take more than that. On a global scale, the main solution is to reduce CO2 emissions into the atmosphere. Processes such as energy transition and decarbonization could help to minimize greenhouse gas emissions and achieve carbon neutrality, a commitment signed by hundreds of countries in the Paris Agreement. Specifically, according to Oceana, for the oceans to return to normal, we must stabilize CO2 concentrations at 350 parts per million or below, which in turn would mean reducing global emissions by 80 to 90 percent by 2050. Such an ambitious goal can only be achieved through a massive shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources. Science is working to help solve it. For example, Research is underway to use macroalgae to store carbon and reduce acidification, adapting fishing grounds to reduce pressure on ecosystems, or identifying which areas of the ocean need urgent protection can also help combat the problem. The oceans occupy 70% of the Earth's surface, so why not be aware of this and redouble our efforts to take care of our home? We hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember that awareness is a choice. Don't forget to like it, and we invite you to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.